Hello everyone and welcome to Turkish Soap Opera. In today's video we anticipate a dramatic event that happened in Bitterland. Leyla the daughter of Demir and Zuleya will fall from the balcony in a moment of happiness causing a great tragedy in the family. Attention! As always we remind you that these events will happen later on Bitterland. So if you don't want to learn about the future plot before it is broadcast on the television network, do not watch this video. If, on the other hand, you are curious and want to know what happens in preview, you are on the right channel. Before starting, leave a nice like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss all the next videos. Finally leave a comment to share your emotions. Initially we will see a radiant Zulia. Finally she too has started to experience some of her happiness that she had been missing for so long. In fact, she, Fikrit and Lutfiye spend a peaceful afternoon in the garden chatting quietly until they hear a strange noise. You what they will see will be shocking especially for Zulia. While Layla was playing on her balcony, she fell due to a distraction from Fadik, who had the task of supervising her and staying with her. Zulia, Fikrit and Fadik will try, in vain, to revive the little girl. They will then take her to the hospital hoping that the doctors can save her life. But let's see everything in more detail. Gulton reproaches Fadik that she is talking to a worker instead of doing her duty, urging her to go back and join Zulia. Meanwhile Zulia tenderly plays with her daughter Layla on the terrace of the villa. Zulia is as radiant as she ever is and her daughter is serene in the company of her mother. When Fadik arrives, Zulia gives her the task of keeping her baby under control. In the meantime, Zulia looks out on the balcony and sees Fikrit arriving, at which point she joins her, leaving Fadik and the girl there to play. In the garden there is also Lutfiye who in the meantime starts talking to Fikrit under the gazebo. When Zulia finally catches up with them, the three start chatting quietly about a matter involving Fikrit. While Zuleika went down to the garden, Fadik too had returned to the house for a moment, probably to get something or put it away. Meanwhile Zulia is downstairs with the others, and in one scene we see the little one crying and crawling. Then attention returns to Zulia, Fikrit and Lutfiye who continue to talk. Suddenly they hear a thud coming from not too far away. Fadik looks out on the balcony and seeing Layla on the ground she starts screaming, Zulia and the other two run immediately and when Zulia sees the little girl there on the ground she is filled with terror. Seeing your little one lying on the ground is not a pretty picture and a mother would never want to see her daughter dead. Above all due to a distraction by Fadik. At the same time, hearing the screams, the other men from the villa also rushed, including Gaffer. Everyone does their utmost to try to revive the child, but in vain. Then Fikrit picks her up and together with Zulia they suddenly get into the car to take her to the hospital. The tension is skyrocketing like mother Zulia's desperation. Meanwhile Fadik is still left on the terrace, shocked and desperate by what happened, knowing that the responsibility for her lies entirely with her. Zulia, Fikrit and little Layla arrive at the hospital and Fikrit screams for help. Dr. Akut rushes in from a room and asks them what happened. Quickly Zulia explains to him that Layla has fallen from the balcony so, without wasting any more time, the doctor takes her and takes her to a room where Zulia and Fikrit cannot enter. Young Zulia waits in despair, worried that little Layla will not survive. Fikrit tries to reassure her as much as possible, so she Zulia sighs about her trying to force herself. Soon after, Sinai and Lutfiye also arrive at the hospital. Young Zuleika waits in despair, worried that little Layla will not survive. Fikrit tries to reassure her as much as possible, so she sighs Zulia trying to force herself, however the shock was too great and the woman collapses due to a total drop in blood pressure, collapsing to the ground unconscious. She is immediately rescued and taken to a room and laid on a bed. Meanwhile, another tragedy is taking place in the villa. Fadik who is still in shock continues to scream in despair from the balcony, and no one is able to detach her from there. Then they finally manage to get her down and try in every way to make her calm down to recover from the shock suffered. Fadik realizes that her carelessness and superficiality have created terrible consequences for her and for the child.
Meanwhile Sinai also arrives at the hospital and Lutfiye also ran to see Zuleika. In the meantime, the latter has recovered and is leaving the room without knowing yet if her daughter is well and if she has recovered or if she is dead. Sinai and Lutfiye find her crying desperately and they don't know what to say to her. They don't know how to reassure her. But at a certain point, while they try to reassure each other, the doctor arrives from the corridor with a slight smile on his lips that a little hope for everyone. When he gets close to them he communicates that fortunately the little girl, we don't know how or why, is safe. In fact, she has no problem. However, he would like to observe her for a few hours to see if she has any delayed reactions to her fall. At this point the joy is enormous. Everyone hugs each other happily because fortunately, what was about to become a tragedy, instead resolved in the best way. Later, the girl made a full recovery and the doctor gave his permission to take her home. When they arrive at the villa they find a totally desperate Fadik who tries to prostrate himself in front of Zuleya, but the latter, looking at her, tells her to go away because, after what she has done, she doesn't want to see her, she isn't even worthy of his greeting. Fadik desperate no longer knows what to do. She then decides to pack her bags and say goodbye to her job. So she shows up in front of her Zuleya, with the suitcase in her hand to greet her and apologize again and to tell her that her mistake is unforgivable. Zuleya looks at her while Fadik is there in front of her, with her coat and suitcase in her hand and is trying to say goodbye to her to leave. But at that point he says, take off your coat and go back to doing your job. Incredulous Fadik thanks her benefactress, puts down the suitcase and calmly returns home assuring Fadik that she will never again make such a mistake. And you, what do you think? Will Fadik really never be wrong again? The previews end here for today. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you like the video, leave a nice like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to be notified about the next previews of your favorite series and more.